Welcome everyone to Star Fox Assault. The game that came out directly after Star Fox Adventures, but before Star Fox Command. So yes, this game is another part of the Star Fox series, of course. This game, I actually played, I played it a lot when I was growing up, um, so I do know it really, really well, actually. And I will say that the flying missions are pretty damn, damn amazing. The Landmaster missions and the foot missions are a decent, I guess, not the best part of the game, and a couple other weird things about it, but for the most part, I love it. It's a great game. It's a great game, and I want to enjoy it a lot. So I decided to bring it to the channel, because why the hell not, right? Why the hell not? You know what? I also want to bring... This, I know this is random, but... I, I need to get Pikmin, actually. I have to get Pikmin. I want to play Pikmin. Oh, right, sh shut up. Alright, so here's what I'm going to do. Uh, there's a couple options here. Single mode versus mode. Options versus options. Let's see. User settings. I don't really care, actually. Play data, sound. Controller configurations. I think it should be fine. I don't know what the hell bonus game is, but I'll... Okay. I forgot. I'm gonna do single mode. Yes, it's actually multiplayer in this game. Um, it's not the best, I'll be honest, but... <laughs> it's there, definitely. Um, I guess I'll do a new user. Um, sure. I'll call myself D... S... Z done. <coughs> oh, sorry. Sorry, people. Uh, single stake. Let's see. Move. Shoot. Camera. Move. Camera. Shoot. Ca what the? F Move and look with this. Okay. Look with the C and shoot with R and advanced configuration. Let me try dual stick. Um, I don't know. I, I feel like that might actually work a little bit better, but who knows? Okay, rumble, uh, invert Y axis. Actually, you know what? No, I don't want no. I'm doing single stick. Screw that. Okay, rumble, invert Y axis. Well, here's the thing. Aren't they already inverted? I'm pretty sure. If it says invert and it's set to yes, I'd imagine that. You know, we just shut the hell up and... Oh yeah, you can also do these other things like mission and story, but I'll talk about that later. Beginning. Um, so there's three modes. Easy, normal, hard. Um, I'm gonna just do normal. I always like to play normal mode. Easy's too easy, of course, you know? Like, way too easy. Remnants of Andros's butchers. You've kept us busy, but now your end is at hand. Well, Fox, looks like we're not too late. Yep, of course, General. It's just so crazy. I can't believe Andros had so darn many troops left behind. They're almost all common scum, in it for the money. They're quite dedicated for a bunch of hired guns. The leader of this rebellion is none other than Oikene. Okay, I see now. So we're here because... We're here because we gotta put this creep on ice. 
Yes, you must take him down. I'm counting on you. Now, get prepped and go. Let's go, team. Communications line, green. Like needs no pushover. So be careful out there. Left line, is. The outcome of this battle hangs on you, team. Are you all ready? Launch all ships! Ships, avoid the Armada's fire. Aim for Oikini's flagship. Here we go! Alright, so here we go. First mission. Very first mission. So again, this game actually goes back to pretty much the roots of Star Fox 64, at least in terms of the flying missions. Um, it, it's actually very well made, the flying missions at least. Uh, and again, that's why I really, really like this a lot. You have all your uh, basic things once again. Um, you're like your shooting, bombs. Uh, you do have like upgrades such as this, for example. Your laser beam upgrades, that's pretty damn nice. Yeah, I'm also trying not to like talk that much because, well, I mean, at least when they're talking, so you can also hear it, but uh, I mean, it's also gameplay, so it's it's a little hard to, to you know, kind of like tell myself, like, should I talk, should I not, I don't know. Anyway, here, I just want to blow up these big things here, as you can see, there's a lot of them, all in a row. Honestly, it's not that hard. You just kind of keep shooting and shooting. And yeah. Again, I'm playing in a medium mode. This game is actually incredibly easy if you're playing bronze mode. It's still pretty easy in silver mode. Gold is kind of another level, sort of, but um... Some kind of prototype? That beam's oh shit. Watch out, Fox. Is attack. Okay. Here we go, got him. I did get hit a little bit. As you can see, your health meter is down at the very bottom left corner. Thank you, Slippy. Uh, one thing that you do want to, of course, uh, do as much as possible is uh, help your friends whenever they do need the help. You do need that. Uh, because we're going to keep getting hit over time, and you do not want that to happen, of course. Because eventually they can die, and if they quote-unquote die, they're actually gone for, I believe it's two missions? Fox, I think. Use this. Cool. Bombs. I'm going to actually save those. You can use a bomb right now, and... They kind of actually want you to do it right now, but you don't have to. Okay, so here we're gonna get the stealth squatters. They're actually really easy despite how much the game makes them seem like they're freaking hard when they're actually not. Just shoot them like that before they even get a chance to shoot, you know? Always hold a charge, it helps a lot. Here's another one you can see it by their lights. Okay, yeah, there's gonna be a lot of button mashing and I really should be putting my controller a little further from the microphone. Look at that. So much so many enemies, man. There we go. Hit plus ten. I already have 248 hit. It's crazy. The enemy flagship is fleeing to Fortuna. That scum Orkin is getting away. After him, Fox. Keep moving. Follow him into the atmosphere. Adjust G diffuser system output. Let's go.
like and he seems to have fled, but he may be lying in wait for us. I want all of you to proceed with caution. Worrying a bit much, aren't you, Gramps? Let's take it in low. So this is still uh, the first mission of the game, despite it looking like another part of the mission, it's not. It's in fact the same one still. Usually missions are divided into different sections, um, and every mission has those kinds of things. Some of them are also really long, and some are a lot shorter. It's, it seems a little unbalanced in terms of length, but I don't know what they were thinking when they were doing that. I guess we just have their... they work in mysterious ways, right? The developers sometimes. I guess so. As you can see, there's just a bunch of... Um, a bunch of pretty simplistic enemies right now. There we go, got him. I mean, I really should shoot all these land ones. You can shoot out of the land ones or the air ones. I mean, it's kind of hard to kill them all. It really is, to be perfectly honest, you know. Also, here's another one of these beam upgrades. Nice. Now I have the best ones. These do the most damage, by far. Like, easily, by far. There's some of these guys here, some of these turrets, I suppose. They're actually shooting like missiles or some shit. Oh my god. That's actually a double laser upgrade. Um, even though they don't really need it anymore. Whoops. Yeah, I know the game really well, um, so I kind of know like where enemies are going to be at and like what to expect and all that good stuff, you know? Kind of the advantage of knowing the game really, really well, you know? Got you. Got you, Slippy. Oh my god, kill it. This time we're going to get a bomb, okay. Four bombs already. Well, that's pretty nifty. We got some more ground guys, alright. Up to 391. What is this? I think that's an extra life, I'm pretty sure. Whoops. Did I just hit Crystal? I was trying to kill his enemies, but I think I actually hit her in the process, I'm pretty sure. Give me that. That was actually really bad. We try to shoot as much of these as possible. He has some nice hits, I suppose, you know? Not bad, not bad. There he is! It's Oikini! You've got nowhere to run to, Oikini! Persistent little pests, aren't you? Up to. Careful, Fox. You never know what a cornered beast might do. I must bring an end to our relationship. Die! <laughs> you think you can win? Don't make me laugh. Okay, this boss battle is actually incredibly easy. Like, I mean incredibly easy. Just simply wait for his hand to be revealed. Now, of course, if you can aim properly. Oh shit, that actually was horrible aiming. Oh my god, that was really bad. That was a heck of a lot better. Yeah, he actually hit me right there, but I don't really care, to be honest. He's hitting me, but I'm gonna survive this, so I don't care. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Here we go. And he's down. <laughs> Is that all you fools have got? I am the one and only true heir to the great Emperor Enron. The new Emperor, Andrew Oikin. Uncle Enron! What? 
Reinforcements? That doesn't look friendly. Such strange thought patterns. No, it can't be. Aberroid, Aberroid, Aberroid. Aberroid? There's no time to hesitate. Return fire. This is the true boss of uh, level 1. However, it's honestly not that bad. Um, sometimes attack patterns can be a little annoying, I suppose. Awesome. Yeah, grab that. This actually heals some nice health. All you really want to do here is just keep shooting all 8 of its wings. The little, like, eyeball area thing, I guess. But once you do that... We then get into another phase. Here, you want to dodge the uncoming coming boulders, but you also want to keep trying to hit him. Like right there, see that? I made me a little too high right there, though. Oh my god. Shit. Oh man, I'm back in my shitty laser. So I took too much damage. Too much wing damage, actually. Really almost dead, I suppose. There comes another attack. Oh boy. I'm trying to hit the stupid. Damn, I can't believe I stopped to kill this guy, man. It's because my laser got really shitty, that's why. As you can see, my plane is bad because I took too much wing damage, and that can't actually happen. Got you. Here we go. Hit plus 10. Alright, just keep dodging because you're going to get hit. Done. I see you haven't lost any moves. So that's mission one down. Moving on to mission number two. That one took about 15 minutes, I want to say, because of like all the intro stuff, including cutscenes. Members of Star Fox, a grave danger looms. The Lilac system is in peril. What? How do you know? We know. The research director will brief you on all the details. Hello again, everybody. Dad? You're the research director? You never told me that. <laughs> well, gee, didn't I? Yes. In any case, if I may continue, these aperoids... Aperoids? Indeed. They are the enemies you faced earlier. I believe it was about uh, 17 years ago. A whole fleet was destroyed by a sole aperoid. We were somehow able to survive that trial, but that was just a taste of, of what's coming. We are currently analyzing data from the core memory you found. But we could understand much more if we had a complete specimen. We have detected a distress signal originating from the Kaina outpost. However, we're unable to contact anyone there. We suspect Aperoid involvement. You must find the distress signal. No problem at all, sir. I'll head to the surface immediately. That signal shouldn't be too hard to find. By yourself? It's too dangerous. I'm going too. No, I want you guys in our wings, covering me from above. I'm counting on you. Let's do this!
All right, so mission number two. Here we go. Investigate base on Katina. It's too quiet. Something's wrong here. It's a trap! It's the Aperoids after all. Okay, so, um... Fox, first get rid of the Aperoids in your path. This is the first land mission of the game, as you can see. Um, and aiming is... can be problematic when you actually have to aim up high or whatever, you know? Um, so here's your first weapon. You actually have your blaster. If you actually... If you actually charge up your blaster to, I believe, at least blue level, it's generally pretty powerful. Doesn't this break this shit? Oh, hold on, let me see. Yeah, it does, see? So your blaster can be pretty powerful, it just kind of depends on see you can blast that. Uh, oh, but you gotta do red level though, damn. I wish you could charge faster though, but, hmm. There we go. However, there's other weapons though, so like that's one of them, but here's another one. You gotta change weapons to fit the situation. That's use the machine, that machine gun. gun to blast Head out for the target on your radar. So Y actually jumps. How do you dodge? L. L's how you dodge. You aim with R. Generally speaking, the blast is a pretty shitty weapon, I'm not gonna lie. Like, it really is. But that's also why there are much, much better ones out there. Oh boy. Okay, so this one... There we go. Okay, so I want to destroy the big Aperoids. That's actually a rocket launcher. You might think it's actually amazing, but it's actually not that powerful, believe it or not. Okay, so one fully red charge actually does it. Whew. There's no end to these things. Peppy, send me a landmaster, will you? On its way. What's the situation? Well, I got my hands full. But what else is new? Done. Here's your landmaster. Let me know if you get lonely and I'll drop by. Nah, all I need is a landmaster. Transmission complete. It's all yours, Fox. Great. Good to see the transmission system's targeting is as sterling as ever. Okay, so our goal is to get into the Landmaster. I mean, we technically don't have to. Like, we really don't have to, I, I guess. But it really does help a lot. Got so, it. entering vehicles by pressing Z. This is the Landmaster. It is a very powerful weapon of destruction, as you can see here. It blows up everything incredibly fast. So there's a blue and there's a green. So the blue is your... Is that the Landmaster Hill? Oh shit, that's actually... Wait, how do you... Folks, I've got enemies on my tail. Really? Are you fucking kidding me? Look above you and locate crystal. Okay. Yeah, uh, if you want to destroy those ones, you want to make sure they charge, because aiming manually is too much of a problem sometimes. You gotta have really good aim. Anyway... Shit, dude. Okay, target destroyed. I'm blowing everything up right now. I don't even care. What the hell was that? Oh, that's not a... Oh, that was a target. Okay. Okay, there's also these little things here that actually have better weapons. If you want to grab them. But I'm not really caring about that right now, to be honest. Holy shit. That was a lot of enemies. You can also just run right through them by pressing the X button. Like right there. I just ran a bunch of shit. Look at that. Get the hell out of here, dude. Okay. Oh my 
god. Look at this Landmaster causing absolute destruction right now. Like, that's crazy, isn't it? I love the Landmaster. It, it does feel a little slow sometimes for my taste, but you know what? I gotta deal with that. I really have to deal with that. What the heck? I did not mean to do that, my bad. Yeah, by the way, the yellow thing at the bottom, the little bar that goes back up, that shows you pretty much how much you can do in terms of, like, uh, flying, I guess, I suppose. Or hovering. Show those things can spawn more Aperoids. Oh. There's an update. Destroy the Aperoids, bring to the wall. Not bad. Clear the area of all enemies now. They just won't let go. Oh, they're disgusting. Hey, they're on the other side too. Gotta hurry up and destroy those things, Fox. Yeah, so as you can see. There are definitely a lot of a lot of enemies now, a lot more this time around. Um, so must have a weak point. Everything does. There are more enemy types around now. Be careful, Fox. So here I mean you just gotta really get as crazy as you can and just blow up as much. Holy crap. Okay, those people will keep making enemies, but it's very important. God, I'm getting bombarded right now. So much dumb shit. Okay, here we go. No. Well, that was only. Fox, get the enemy behind I'm trying, but I'm also taking a bunch of damage right now. I'll do it. I did do it. Okay, that's actually not going to be able to get through to you. You're there. targets within the buildings. Crystal Six Sense doesn't lie. Oh my god. Switch. Actually, I think it's fine. No, I'm gonna use machine gun. Screw this. As you can see, they have a lot of health when you're not in the Landmaster. That's honestly pretty crazy, but you know what? I'm gonna take all this stuff here. Got some more ammo. Nice, nice. Okay, now I can get the hell out of here. And I guess we'll go to... You know what? Let's grab this over here. This is actually going to be quite helpful here. Look at that. Nice health there, because uh, yeah, my Lion Master was definitely seeing better days, you know? The distress signal still transmitting. The signals... Check inside buildings for targets too, Fox. That's yeah, what I'm doing. be a way to get inside those buildings. You must be able to get inside using the elevators. We've got to rescue them. Does this work? No. Where's the elevator? I know it's somewhere here. Here it is. Alright, so I gotta go ahead and kill all these stupid Aperoids all over the place. Bugs. Die already. Where are they? Oh, you. I actually missed one. Okay. Oh my freaking... Okay, I got you. Yeah, I've had better days. My god. But that was a high launcher. There's also grenades, there's sensor bombs, there's... I haven't used all this, but there's gonna be plenty of missions throughout the game, so I'm gonna be utilizing all these, you know, through time. Okay, so where's my landmaster? It's way the hell over there? Are you? Oh my god! Well, actually, that's not far. What am I talking about, man? Got it. All right, let's do it. Okay, so apparently it's somewhere over here. There it is. A new target has been confirmed. You gotta oh, destroy that last one. Find it on your radar. 
That one? Done. And done. Uh, I got a bad feeling about this. So, the leader, huh? That thing is giant and ugly. Wait, that thing has a core memory. You heard the lady, Fox. We gotta get that core memory. All right, so this is the boss of mission number two. It's actually really easy, though. I mean, all you need to do. Let's keep shooting the thing. Well, well, actually, I'm gonna explode. I just realized that. Now, Fox, its weak point is on the top. Crap! I sent you a lamb master, Fox. Get on top by hovering. Check oh, the location of the lamb master on radar. I'm not gonna make it. I actually did make it. Wow. Okay, so here, let's get near it. That's it, Fox. That's its weak point. Okay, now I'm gonna actually fly here because if you oh crap. It will actually push you off like it just happened right now. And then the important thing is to oh my god, that, it actually did more damage than I thought though. That's crazy. Alright, just keep shooting. And dodge, of course. Dodging is very important. Now for the first shot here, what I'm gonna do is actually hold a charge. gonna do here is yeah to do that oh no I fell crap oh my god I'm gonna die I'm gonna die crap I sent you I'll try to draw their fire the rest is up to you check the location of the land master I actually could die these things are following me oh no if I get shot by one more thing I'm gonna die I'm good I'm good I'm good just go just go shit I actually was about to die right there. Usually that doesn't even happen. That kind of bullshit. Now, there we go. Use the hover to get on top of it. And I pretty much did this already because it should take. It only takes two rounds on easy mode. But that's the thing about easy mode versus hard mode that it actually is taking longer. There, that's it. Mission done. I know this video actually went a little overboard, but I wanted to finish the mission before it ended it, so there we go. Fox, get that core memory. Okay, that must be it. Careful, we don't know anything about what we're up against. I know that. Hey, it looks like that distress signal is no longer transmitting. Hmm, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> Thanks for helping me out. Pigma. <laughs> Long time no see, Fox. The SOS signal. It was you? <laughs> as soon as I'm here, I'll just help myself to this. No, that's... Mm, really bad important. <laughs> then I'm gonna be rich. Smell you later. Stop! Pigma! Dang! Fox, I'm tracking Pigma on radar. Get back to the Great Fox now! All ships are home. Anyone injured? How about you, Fox? Don't push yourself so hard! Okay, well, um... I'm going to go ahead and save the game and end it here. So if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave a like. I appreciate it very much. Thank you. And as always, I will see you all next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great and a fantastic day.